And now I'm going to talk about how you can share your OneNote notebooks through Teams or through SharePoint. In fact, when you create a team in Microsoft Teams, it actually creates a notebook for you. So there's a default notebook waiting for you to access. Now in Teams, you can add more than one notebook if you wish, but there is one waiting. And the same with SharePoint. When you create a SharePoint site that's a Teams site, it has a notebook available as well. But again, you can have more than one notebook in your SharePoint site or your team site. And the beauty of putting a notebook in either of these areas is it's immediately shareable because it's based on the team of people or the site members that are already present. Okay, so let's go in here and take a look at how this works. All right, so I'm in the Teams application and I'm in the employee onboarding team and in the general channel. And so here's where I thought, you know, let's add a notebook for this group of people so that they can share information and resources. And so to add a notebook in Teams, we're just gonna go to the top here and to the plus sign. And the only people that see a plus sign, by the way, are the owners of a team. So if you don't have that access, you might have to reach out to your IT department or ask to become an owner of that particular team. So I'm going to hit the plus sign here and then search for apps. I would type in OneNote if I was looking for it. It happens to be on my screen because I use it so often. And so once you choose OneNote, it shows you the options that you have. You can either create a brand new notebook for this particular team, which means it would live in the team. And so the great thing about that is then it would be shared automatically with whoever the members of the team are. So we don't have to create a brand new notebook for a team because every team comes with a default notebook. So if you're okay to use that one, then I suggest you look for that one. It should be right there at the top, usually with the same name as the team name. So I, I see mine right here, employee onboarding notebook, and I'm gonna click on that and choose save. So this is a brand new notebook that has been available for the team. It's never been accessed, so there's nothing in it. Notebook is empty. So if I click on the bookshelf on the left here, this is the area where my sections are, and this is the area where my pages are. So I'm gonna add a section. So at the very bottom here, we'll just call it hiring, and then we'll add a page and we'll call it summer hires. So as you can see, I can type and work right within my OneNote, right within my Teams area. I don't have to be in the OneNote app. I do have a toolbar and I have a menu, a tool menu that's available to me. And most of the things that I can do in the OneNote app are available to me here in Teams. There's the odd thing that will be different. So let's say for some reason I don't want to be working within Teams. I'd rather be looking at this notebook within my OneNote app. I can go from here to where it says open in browser and click on that and choose open in desktop app. And that will open up this notebook in my desktop app for OneNote. So let's do that took a minute to show it, but now I'm in my OneNote app and you'll see that the notebook I have open is employee onboarding notebook. And the section that I'm looking at here is hiring and summer hires is the page that I'm looking at. So the same thing that I added right within my team. So let's just add something else here. And then let's just close out of here or minimize this. We don't have to close it. We'll just minimize it and we'll go back to the team. And I'm going to continue in my notebook in the team. Now, one thing you might notice is that it did call this notebook employee onboarding notebook representative of the team that it came from. But if I'm already in that team and in the channel, I can just, it doesn't really help me to see this at the top here because it's saying the same thing. I don't know that this is the notebook. So there's a little arrow here, might be worthwhile. You going there and choosing rename and just calling it notebook. It'll still have the name of employee onboarding that it's saved with, but just in your team, it's way easier easier to find your notebook if you name it notebook. Now let's quickly talk about um, SharePoint. If you're using SharePoint for your files or you're sh and you're sharing a lot of information in different sites, then if you go to the SharePoint site that you work with, you should see a navigation area on the left hand side. And from that navigation area, you want to look for notebook. So as I mentioned earlier, most of your SharePoint sites will come with a notebook that's available to that site. 
Okay, and then once you have this notebook open from SharePoint, you can choose to work on it here, which would be on the web, or you can go to the editing button over on the right here and choose open a desktop app, and then you can work with it on your desktop app, and it's still updating to the entire SharePoint site. So the thing about this is whoever, sh uh, whoever the members of this SharePoint site are, they all have equal access to this notebook. Okay, so some really good ideas for sharing when you look at notebooks within Teams or within SharePoint.